Hello, I'm JR with Drew Fio and Connor Harris. And the, this is the show. We will be talking about the NFL offseason. What do you think about this NFL offseason? Um, here? well, I feel like there's been a lot of trades, like the Aaron Rodgers trade, which was a big topic for a while. I feel like a lot of people now are really focusing on the Saquon Barkley trade. And I really am not sure if that's going to get done because it needs to get done by tomorrow, uh, Thursday. So that's going to be a close one. Uh, I honestly think the Giants are going to f- probably franchise tag him because they're too nervous about his future. And I feel like that's going to be the wrong move because it's going to bring his morale down, which will bring the team morale down. Yep, I agree. Um, I think the Giants really need to do get Saquon Barkley on a long-term contract. And if they do that successfully, uh, which is a very low risk because of his injury history, and maybe the Giants, they definitely do need him, but I don't know what the Giants are thinking about it. But they definitely do need to secure him for their team and Saquon. Yeah. Let's answer some questions from the live audience. We have you. How do you think Aaron Rodgers would impact the Jets? Um, I think Aaron Rodgers will not impact the Jets as much as um, – like Sauce Gardner or Garrett Wilson did. Uh, I think Aaron Rodgers is okay now that he's older. He's not going to be in full, fully Aaron Rodgers mode. What do you think, Manager? I agree. I feel that 100% people are too, like, over expectations, and I feel like he's going to have a horrible couple seasons with the Jets. Um, yeah. uh, as a Bengals fan myself, I'm wondering what – what team do you think that with the with the trades and the signings they made in the AFC would take the biggest jump or go a lot higher than they did the year before? Uh, in the AFC, I honestly feel that the most teams in the AFC are set, but I definitely feel the Bengals. They have a very good all-around team, like you were saying, and you're a Bengals fan. I feel like if they added like one more really good defensive player, that could really impact and like lead the team like a veteran, but he's not out of his prime. I feel that that could really um, like push the team forward and re- win them a Super Bowl this year. What do you think? Um, I think that's true. The Bengals definitely do need another defender, but I think one of the most underrated sign- uh, trades was Jalen Ramsey to the Dolphins. No one's really talking about that anymore, and they only had to give up a third round pick and a third string tight end. I think it's a massive move to get a five time All Pro corner. Um. I feel like it's a good move because I feel like it's not going to be like the Aaron Rodgers one where he's too old and not going to provide anything. But he's definitely not in his prime, but I feel like he could provide a good year or two. Okay, we have one more live audience question. Yes, yeah. Um, how do you feel about Bryce Young being drafted to the Panthers? Bryce Young is definitely going to impact the Panthers in a lot of ways, being that he was – in Alabama, most Alabama players go on to a long stretch in the NFL as like a great, as like a good, at least a good player. Um, Carolina's been through a couple of quarterbacks. They believe that Bryce Young is going to be their quarterback for at least his rookie contract. Um, I feel that Bryce, um, Bryce Young will definitely make an impact, but I feel that they're st- the Panthers, I think their record's going to be 7 and 10. I feel he's going to impact them a bit, like 6 and 11, 7 and 10. But I feel like, but their team all around is horrible. It's straight up horrible. They they have so many gaps to fill. That's just one small step. Yep, I think Bryce Young was the perfect number one overall pick. He should have gone there. There might be some cringe about his uh, size issues, but mm-hmm. I think he, this pan, with being in the NFC South, South and a weak division, I think he can propel the Panthers to maybe sweeping out a division win. Yeah. And that's our show. We are the show. Bye. Bye. Bye.